There is no future. There is no past. These are the words that I've read recently in a book called The Power of Now. And this is just a follow-up video from my previous video, which I spoke about being in the moment. The Power of Now, a fascinating book I sat down and read uh, from the beginning of the day and was determined to eat till the end of the day. It took me on a fantastic journey and a quite exceptional journey to be honest because I came to understand that there really is no past and no future. You can't change the past and you can't affect the future because you don't know what the future actually is. You can try and plan for the future, but you don't know if you're going to get to the future. There is no future, and there is no future, and there is no past because it's just about now. It's always now. It's always now. There are people that live in the past or live in the future, and here's this: in one moment, in one action, in one thought process, if you take away thinking about your past and you take away thinking about your future why would you worry you just deal with what's now what's in the now you know to focus on being grateful of the things that you do have in the world being thankful of what is right in front of your face that you're alive and that you're well and you know that you can open your eyes and you can see or you can you can live the life that you, you know, l less people are fortunate to have, you, you can, you know. And for a huge majority of us, we have that. A lot of us don't have to wake up in the morning considering the fact that, you know, their country's at war or being bombed or knowing they're going to sleep at night. They don't know if a bomb's going to drop in the house the next morning. They don't know. You might go to sleep and not know. You wake up in the morning. You don't know. And um, it kind of made me realize that I spent more time focusing on the future and what I was going to try and achieve or what I wanted to achieve or thinking in the past, saying to myself, well, I didn't do this right and I didn't do that right and I didn't do this right. But in the future, I'm going to be this and I'm going to be that and I'm going to be this and that's going to make the past better because the future is better. Um, and I guess a lot of people really, a lot of people who probably haven't read the book would think this way. Think about this. Think about the pain that you would su suffered in the past, right? Bring that into your present and take it into your future. That's a lot of pain. That's emotional pain that people may have wronged you. Now take that pain, that now take a worry, worries from the past into the present and then to the future. Then think about the fact that you're not focusing on the moment that you're in and you're focusing on the future and your mind is always on the future, the future, the future. And you're not in this moment, you're not present in this moment. And one of the secrets that were revealed was that when things are not going right in your life, that means you need to be more awake and you need to be more present. It means that you have need to be more alert as to what's going on now, this point. Fascinating, amazing. And the power of the ego, the ego that makes an individual say to look into the future and say, I'm going to be great. I'm going to prove them wrong. I'm going to get a big fast car, I'm going to get a big job, I'm going to get a big house. Rather than saying, you know where I'm at at the moment is great and I'm going to take every day, day by day, moment by moment I'm going to live to. I mean, you know, for many years growing up, I was always told, don't live for now, always plan for the future. You can't plan for, you don't, you know, death is one thing that no one can escape. And you can't, you can't 
plan like that because you don't know when you're going to lose your life. You, you know, it's not one that you can say, oh, well, you know, that time I'm going to, this is when I'm going to die so I can do this, this and this. You know, unless you've got like a terminal illness. A bit different. But just to enjoy the moment. Just to enjoy what is around. And when I realised to separate myself mentally and emotionally from my past and say, that's my past, I can't change that. That's my future. I don't know what my future is. And frankly, at this point, I don't care what my future is. All I care about is now. Now. This moment. This moment I can change. Because I can say directly, if I'm having a bad day, I can change that. And that I make a statement that no more am I going to bring the past pain into my present. Like, for example, somebody in your past may have offended you, okay? And at this point in time, they're not in your present, they're not in front of you, but you're still thinking about something that harbored three, four, five, ten years ago. But this minute in time, they're not sitting next to you, but you're still thinking about them. You know, and when you are hurting, it's not just a, a, a mental, emotional thing, it becomes a physical thing. And it starts to manifest in dis-ease, diseases. You break down disease, is dis-ease. So your body is not at ease with something. So you find a lot of diseases today are caused by emotional stress, and pain, bitterness, confusion, um, you know, holding things within. Let it all go. Let it all go. So I just wanted to share that with you. And, and you know, we were talking about ego. And... There's ego that talks first, and then there's that quiet voice at the back. They call that the watcher, that watches the ego. Try and tune into that other voice, not the one that's the ego, not the one that tells you you should do this and that and this and that. That voice, watch it. Just watch it carefully and where that voice is leading you to. And ask yourself the question, is this going to cause me more harm or is it going to cause me good? The Power of Now. A great book. Check it out. It will change your life forever. Take care and thanks for listening.